instead of opening this package on this disgustingly messy toolbox, I am going to open this package on something that a lot of people have, and that is a, a junky Kodiak. This, I'm hoping, is the last part I'll ever have to buy for this machine. Terrific packaging. Wow, this thing's like mint. In case you guys forgot, here's the old rim. Chris's machine, you guys remember the video where I took this to Chris? Here's the new one. Nice, pristine condition. Brand used. Yeah! It's a little less pristine, I apologize. What a wonderful I like it when tires go on a little too easy. This is now officially a four-wheeler. It's got all four wheels on. It's no longer a three-wheeler. I'm super excited. There it stands! What a wonderful world. Come on, it's got four wheels, I gotta move it. It's taking everything I have inside me to not just load this thing up on the back of my truck and take it out for a rip right now. I want to so bad. this machine is no good. This guy just kind of welded it the easiest way he could and ended up breaking this whole front grill piece off and in half. I actually took my plastic welder, well a soldering iron and some filler material that one of you guys sent. Thank you very much. And I plastic welded this right together. This was three pieces. This bulb holder fell right off. This was a piece and then this was a piece. As you can see it's all one piece right now but I'm definitely going to have to do something with this rack because the way it's it won't fit. I am hoping and praying that this is either my last or the second last run, parts run, for that Kodiak. We're gonna ride this thing today. I don't care if we don't have a front rack. We're riding it. Well, I stopped at the first part store. They didn't have uh, one of the bolts. Jake the Toilet Snake sold it to me. So uh, I figured I'd visit my good old buddy. Are you sure I sold this to you? Jake's got some good news. Jake's hey. sprucing up his KTM. Of course, I have to. So what'd you buy? I bought a... Uh, New plastics and graphics. I think it's gonna be looking sharp. Did you get orange or did you get different colors or what? No, I went with that. Orange and black. It'll look crispy. Yeah, it'll look good. <laughs> I just got done talking with the snake, Jake the toilet snake that is, and me and him have made plans. We are going to get down and dirty, not in a sexual kind of way, with four wheelers. <laughs> Usually we take out the bikes, but today we're gonna be taking out the quads. It is very muddy and very wet, so it'll work out perfectly. Let me begin by saying this is extremely exciting. This is the first time ever I've ever really drove this thing. I did drive it one other time, and that was when I was going to buy it. I only went about 300 yards total. Now we're about to put some serious riding on it. Whoa. I haven't been in the woods for a long time. First things first, I'm putting the GoPro on. We're gonna really ride this thing. I mean, how can you not have something in your garage for the length of time I have and not wanna ride the hell out of it? Would you feel the same way? Oh 
my goodness! It did a wheelie! Holy smokes, this thing comes up! Yeah, but does it burn out? We just went up Hang On Hill, and this four-wheeler is doing tremendous. This thing's doing better than the Bruin 350. You know, my other quad, man, she's ugly, but she's ready to rock. Four hills, definitely gonna have to find another hill. Just because I'm stupid and, and not wearing a helmet doesn't mean you shouldn't. I was just so excited. That's not a good excuse, though. tell you guys that Jake actually bailed out. He had a birthday party to go to. Family birthday party. Completely understand Jake. I was excited though. And I'm sure you guys were too. <laughs> but so far it's been a successful first ride. There's only one last thing I would like to do. And that's of course this stupid thing behind me. Let's try it. I already have a couple more things to fix. Let's add one more thing to the list. I can't hit it straight on so I'm gonna have to hit it backwards. As crazy as that seems. Okay, I have a deal for you guys, okay? If we can hit 15,000 likes on this video, I'll fix the front rack, hopefully within the next two days, next two uploads, hopefully. Once I fix that, we'll give it another go forward and backwards if we can hit 15,000 likes. Otherwise, four-wheelers and hay bales don't mix. Before I wrap up this vlog, I just want to mention how I thought the Kodiak actually handled. And in my opinion, the Kodiak has more power than the Bruin 350. I mean, yeah, it does have 50 more cc's, but I mean, older horsepower, at least in my opinion, feels like more horsepower than today's horsepower. This thing pulls you back harder and faster than newer four-wheelers, in my opinion. Newer 400s, of course. But I left the plastics off here so I could make sure nothing was leaking, we didn't have that coolant leak, and then on this plastic I could a, control the, the idle, and B, check out the coolant. So that's why I left this one off as well. These rear tires handled incredibly well, went through anything, and like I said, this thing still had enough power to spin them. So overall, it gets my approval for the trails, but I think what's next is we gotta do the rack. And then of course, there are a couple minor things that I'll get to. Now, I do have a surprise for this four-wheeler and for you guys, and I wanna see in the comment section below what you think it is, but it goes for this four-wheeler, a lot of people put them on their vehicles and their off-road vehicles. Saying that, I've never bought these before. I never thought I would buy these before, but I actually need them. So leave it in the comment section below. I'm looking forward to reading what you guys think it is, and I'm looking forward to getting them in the mail. Until tomorrow, we make videos every day. 3D Machines out. Enjoy your day. Go have fun. Play with your friends. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world.